here are three surprising things that I encountered in my tarot mediumship session. Hey, I'm Jenna Madelin. I'm a full-time tarot professional and tarot medium. I have a class August 1st of 24 called Spectral Reader, link in bio. One of the most uh, really surprising things I encountered as a tarot medium was that spirits can show up in, as different ages. Uh, they often can show up very close to what they look like in life um, before they crossed over or a time when they were a young adult and they, they really loved their life or even as a young child. And oddly too, I will see that they're showing me images of the querent at certain life stages. So for example, if a grandmother shows up in her grandmotherly form, I'll often get an image of the querent as a child, really just reaffirming the connection between them. So it's important to look at the other pieces that show up. Um, you know, what are they wearing? Is it dated? Is, what's the fashion piece part of it? And this is not about like an objective truth about what, what and who the spirit is on the other side. But we want to ask ourselves the question, why are they showing me this image of themselves at this time? And what does it have to say? What, why is it important for the querent to know? Another unexpected thing that just is so wonderful is it's not uncommon for spirits on the other side to show up with pets. Either pets that passed before them in life that the querent usually knows about or... Um, and this just like, it's so hard not to start bawling when I see this because it just makes me just so tenderhearted. But when the spirit shows up with a pet that the client or querent lost in life. So this could be a pet that, that your grandmother never met of yours, but she will show up with your dog or cat to just leave you like, oh, we're good. Like we're here and we're just waiting for you. Don't worry. They'll often show up with people that the querent may not know. So people uh, further back in on a generational line, not known to the querent. So the more ancestry work you do before a tarot mediumship session, the more prepared you will be if that happens. Um, another one is surprisingly showing up with a sibling that was maybe lost, that the querent in life maybe didn't know about. So perhaps... If it's your father, he shows up with a, his sister that you didn't know about because that sister was lost when she was a baby or when she was still in utero, that there's still an importance in that connection in some way that I was totally surprised by. I think another unexpected thing as well is that sessions are not going to be linear in the way that we on this plane think. So it's, it's very common to have really weird gaps. Like for example, why didn't she mention her husband that died before her? I mean, it's the lack of mentioning doesn't mean that they're not together. It's just not important for the spirit to communicate in the time that we have to do it. Um, or sometimes the querent, can she talk a little bit more about my sister? How come she didn't mention, mention my sister? Same kind of reason. Um, or like, why is she going on and on about a stuffed animal she gave me and not telling me what I should do with this guy in my life, ah, right? So that's what I mean. We're not in control of what it is that they choose to mention. And it will not often make this linear, logical, concrete like sense in the way that we expect it. So we really just have to be open and flexible to what comes up.